Today at Coyote Classics, we're test driving and checking out this 455 1970 Pontiac GTO. What a badass car. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. It is a fantastic car. Um, triple black 1970 GTO with a factory 455. Um, non original motor, but uh, according to PHS documents, was a 455 car from the factory. So not many of those were built. No, you definitely don't see many of them. No. And then one to run like this, you know? The gas gauge works, oil pressure works. We got really good oil pressure. Horn wipers work, heater fan works, the radio. This is an what old, the hell is wrong someone's going to probably radio. want to put a well, newer, newer radio in there. Yeah, it needs a newer radio. It's got a manual choke in it. Um, everything works except for the factory tack. Um, I kind of thought maybe about a hood tack would look good on it. Yeah, it would. The steering is super nice on it as well, and so are the brakes. I mean, just a turnkey ready to go, go. Yeah, turn signal indicators in the dash even work. Yeah. Both sides. Pretty cool. It's hard not to stare when you're looking at a 1970 black GTO. That's huh? it's super sharp car. Frickin' thing hauls ass. It runs like a GTO too. Wow. The sick pulls, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, speedometer works great. It is reading a little slow. It's reading at 60 mile an hour. I think we're doing a little faster than that. Might be all right. No, it's all right. That's 80 and third, four, set you back in your seat, it's, doesn't it? Thing hauls the mail. Yeah, it goes what down a, the road awesome too. What a great car. Um, inside and out, just a fun muscle car, huh? Yeah, 100. percent uh, We'll get it back. Let's check out the outside of this beauty. How about this 1970 Pontiac GTO, original 455 car, according to the PHS documents. Not a car you see every day. No, triple black also. We'll kind of start in here. It's got the original steering wheel, a little tiny crack here. A couple little ones right. You got to look really close at them. Um, it's got uh, 114,240 miles. The gauges, factory tack. Um, does need a radio. We kind of talked about that in our drive video. That needs to be replaced. A good looking turnkey driver is what it is. does have a little hole in the seat over here in the passenger side. Other than that, the seats are in great shape. Headliner is very nice. Visors are original. Headliner doesn't look like it has any tears or holes. As we put the... Uh, <laughs> horn works. Horn, that's a good idea, right? Um, as we uh, go ahead and pop this seat up, back seat's in great shape. It's got the retractable seat belts in the front. Little tiny little spot here on the armrest. Corner of the door, just like uh, we want to see, is all original, no body filler. If you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're going to see a lot of uh, pictures of the undercarriage showing how solid this is. The roof rail rubber is in good shape as well. Factory codes, paint code is 48. Um, B for the uh, black vinyl top, so it did have a black vinyl top from the factory. And again, the, the neat thing with this is that you know original 455 uh, GTO from the factory. Uh, that's hard to uh, thank heavens for the PHS documents so we can prove that. I mean, I don't know how many 455 cars were built, but not many. And this is a 455 in here, just not the original one. Power steering, power brakes. The engine bay needs to be detailed. That could be something the next guy does. You know, if a guy spent a little time uh, just taking some stuff apart, maybe changing the valve covers and uh, painting things up a little better. 
Exactly. But, but a man, fun driver. Very you know? fun driver. Drives awesome, and it's got the look. You know, and like you said, it is a driver. So as you go around it, look real close, you'll find some imperfections. But like I said, it, going down the road and standing here looking at it right now, it's it's a really sharp looking car. It is, but the biggest thing I want to say is it's a black car. And if you look up and down this passenger side, it's laser straight. Um, very solid and straight. The front nose, just like a lot of them, have a lot of little cracks in it. Um, you know, the paint's nice and smooth too. It's all been buffed out. It's got the PMD rallies, a nice set of tires. What's your tire size back there? In the front, it's 235 70-15s. If you're at, if you kind of want your car to look the same way. The rears are 275 60 15 Man, nice stance, isn't it? Yeah, great and stance. And even though you have those big meats on it, this car turns the tires pretty easily. GTO, big hood. But if you look at it, it really lines up nice in the back. There is some little uh, paint flaws right in here. Back of the door lines up really nice. Again, right behind the door, there are some paint flaws as well. Vinyl top is brand new. Back glass is nice and clean. But as we look at this, I mean, the um, really nice and the vinyl top turned out great. As we look here, there's a couple little bubbles right back here. It's nice right in here, but way to the back. So we look up and down the sides, nice and straight. Tire tread's great. Back bumper looks good. The neat thing with these 455 GTOs, they have such a high ceiling as far as, you know, value. So a guy can, can have this, drive it just like it is, you know, enjoy it. But if, if you wanted to take it to that next level, there's always that, you know, a number one condition of this car is worth over 100,000 according to Haggerty. So, yeah, but, it's a good investment. It really absolutely. is. I mean, to just a 400 car in this shape is probably worth the same money we're asking for this 455. 100%. So. Um, trunk lid, as far as the top of it's in excellent shape. If you look right down, and the paint's older, so it's just got some little tiny paint imperfections way at the very bottom here. Can you open the trunk lid, Dalt? I want to go ahead and point this out. So even though we have some little tiny, like I said, little paint bubbles right here, I want to look at the inside lip on it. Again, the paint's older, but it shines awesome. Yeah, here's what I want to show. Look at this. So, as we look on the outside lip, there's some little bubbles I pointed out, but look at the inside, you guys. Perfect. See that? I'm going to point that out because there's no body filler anywhere in that lip. So, I don't want you guys to be worried about that. Uh, spackling's all nice and original under there as well. Lower quarters in great shape. Bottom of the uh, front fender lines up really nice to the front of the door. Body lines are nice. As you said too, I mean, after we buff that thing out, this thing has a mirror finish. It really does. For a 20 year old paint job or Fantastic something, it shine. looks, besides the little imperfections, it looks like it was done yesterday as far as the shine goes. Totally agree. But fantastic GTO. Check it out on our site, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put a link down in the comment section if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, but again, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you at the next one.